Hello and welcome back to Kart, my probably most favourite card game I've ever played. And we've put, I've made a lot of new decks since the last video. We're going to be probably doing my favourite deck at the moment, which is a Soviet spam. Soviet Union in this deck, in this game, is completely about spam and units. Like you've got uh, just low cost cards that summon a lot. You've got cards like Reserve, which add light infantry and uh, cards that, like you got front of assault which buff it. Where is it? Pardon me. No surrender. Add light infantry to your support line until it's full. Give him blitz. So just cards like that. And uh, and the combos you can do is insane. Like this deck, uh, I think it's got like a ninety percent win rate. I think I've played about ten games with the deck and I've lost once, which was against. Uh, I can't remember the deck and what actually I lost against it. It was like yesterday night at like 3 o'clock in the morning that I lost. But it it seemed to counter me heavily. Oh, that was it. It was a Britain Splash USA and they had like a ridiculous amount of removal cards. Oh, Soviet versus Soviet. Now this card just wins you the game. Deployment draw itself from the deck. Which is and it's it's insane because it's just oh look at that bro just knew I was superior. Well, that ruined my really good hand because well, if you get one of the first like, regiment guys, you play it, he draws himself. Next turn you play it, he draws himself, and you just play all four of them, so they're guaranteed like it's just a meat wall. And it's sad, their action cost is actually one because the light infantry action cost is zero if you've never seen cards before and this is like the first time you ever tuned into a like a cards video uh it's very good game highly recommended free to play on steam you should check it out it's like unlike normal card games in this card game you have action costs so it costs your mana to move the units as well as playing them it doesn't cost a block you no, know, yeah, it does. No, it don't. It does you don't block? Sorry, you. Uh, for, is this the same guy? I wonder. You fought like you forcefully attack, so it's like you get rules. So you can't block unless you've got a special effect that lets you block. Here we go. That's some nice cards. Nah. They are zero cost, zero act. Like there's action cost. Action cost is top left of the card. And there's attack defense, so it's a zero cost blitz. Blitz means you attack first on the like you uh sorry you can move and attack first turn. So these cards are just cards to quickly get a line, that like quickly get a, a advantage in the front line. See, I could because they can't take the front line without killing my units. There's no reason for me not to hit face type thing. Um, that. Actually, try and take this out. Come on, get lucky. There we go. This attacks, and then it it rolls between zero and one to do a, that amount of additional damage as well. So it can it can screw you when it can't, and effects like guard. Uh, adjacent non-guard units cannot be attacked except by bombers and artillery. Artillery stuff like this. It's just, I've gone over this in my last video, but if you don't know the effects, I'll just quick. I'll give you a quick rundown of them. Artillery. Artillery receives no damage when it attacks. It can attack anywhere on the field. And tank. It can move and attack in the same turn because you can only do like one thing in a turn usually. Ah, uh, unfortunate. I put, and I didn't realize this until fairly recently. The like the guard actually it's adjacent. It's not just everyone in the row, which I definitely should have realized sooner, but I didn't. You uh, so you have to actually be careful where you place the guards. Placement in this game is a very heavy thing. See that that's got to go like ASAP because it's this. I've got Bloody Sickle, so it's guaranteed going. Bloody Sickle, D1 damage uh, to your HQ and draw 
deal damage to an enemy unit and your HQ draw a card. That's a fairly nice thing. Ah, uh, nice. It goes through. Go that. We do bloody sickle on him. We draw a card. Oh, baby. Yeah, we win the game. Has it got blitz? Oh, they do have blitz. Yeah. Reason why I said we win the game is because thirty second infantry regiment, you deploy it. Like deploy is a debut deploy when it uh, deployment effects trigger when the unit is played. So you play it, and then you add another one it to your hand, and you just keep going like that over and over again. Let's just do this. Just one draw, one card. See now he has to get guard to stop me from taking his HQ. When you add or deploy a unit with mobilize, draw a card. Oh, I've just never seen them mobilize. Units get plus one one at the start of its turn. Unit loses mobilize when it takes. Ah, okay, that's cool. Uh, we're gonna do. We means we can do it. Give your units and HQ plus three defense for no reason really, other than just having three defense. And drawing a card as well. Just gonna artillery fire on that. And we've got no surrender. I'll buy infantry until your support line is uh, to your support line until it's full. Given blitz. Gets plus one for each what's his card? Gets deployment gets plus one for each enemy uh, for each card in the enemy hand. That's really cool. Oh the alliance. The alliance that's a, that's a really cool card. I'm really good for this type of deck. We advance up the lines and guarantee a win next turn. Let's see, deploy something like the Winston Churchill tank. Draw cards equal to number of enemy units. Damn, that is a really good card. That's a really good clutch card as well. The, the pack system in this game is a brick wall, and you only get one quest a day, and the quest gives you 50 coins, and the pack is 100 coins. As officer pack, which gives you rarer cards, and it's 300 coins, which I suggest getting. The game suggests getting, so I suggest getting. That was a dangerous play by him, because now he has to deal with my artillery this turn. Ah, oh, no, he, he got a guard. This is a blitz tank. Blitz tanks are very scary, because they, they can move and attack. Fury Blitz is terrifying. Fury lets you attack twice in a turn. Let's play this. Come on. If we get lucky, we can do it. Ah, that's unfortunate. But I just do that. And definitely secure my victory next turn unless he has two guard cards. Oh, damn. That's a really good card. No, if he's got no guard, I still win. Yeah. Ah, oh, he wasn't toxic. That's nice. No. Every three games you win, you get ten coins. And there's like the the main like deck you play, the main um, archetype of the deck you play gets levels up, and the level when it levels up, it gives you bonuses. Level ten gives you a pack. And I think level 9 gives you 2 gems. Gems are really useful. They're just gems like in most other games. Like a second currency you can buy with money. And are pretty good and fairly rare to obtain. You can create a maximum of 30 decks. You can delete a deck you own by click. Wow, I never knew that. I always thought you could only make 10. But I guess it's what? Doing every combination. Because there's... Oh yeah, there's allied decks. Uh, allegiance archetypes which aren't the five main ones the five main ones are germany soviet britain usa and japan and there's uh, the alliance the uh, alliances the allegiances are france portugal no for, sorry france poland and italy uh, yep this is a nice hand just a uh, one one cost two two one to play and you're just gonna play the artillery early. Hey, this has blitz zero cost, so it is a pain in the ass. Japan is well, USA is all about ramping and getting big cards in the field, like big uh, infantry in the field. 
But that's kind of, yeah, that's about it. Germany is about a lot of high tanks, I'm pretty sure, like a lot of um, tanks. And Japan is about spamming units at the wazoo, like Blitz Fury units at the wazoo. Uh, Soviet is just about spamming units and like buffing the units. And oh, Britain is about guard cards, a lot of them, and a lot of bombers as well. Oh, the uh, I forgot its name. USA has a lot of bombers too, and a lot of like fight uh, flying cards as well. Uh, wait, can I? I misclick. That was a very bad misclick. I meant to aim at it, but I didn't. So, oof. Uh, this card is very useful. Smoke screen, smoke screen unit cannot be attacked by enemy units. A unit loses smoke screen when it moves or attacks. Guard units don't affect smoke screen, I'm pretty sure. Oh, units in front, I can't have smoke screen. Okay, cause otherwise that'd be really OP. A card you have to target, but you can't target. I honestly might just alliance for this, or the alliance for this. Unless there's some other way I can think about if I got. Oh, I got a blitz, yeah, just, do, just trade it. Because this is really good. For any infantry, it's plus one attack. Really, really useful. Just a nice little trade. That has fury, so I don't want to mess with it. Like, I don't want to advance. Because it can attack twice and wipe out this and like wipe out my units. So I'm probably going to... Um, uh, if he summons some, like an air unit, then I've got burning skies. And that deals with most air units people summon. There's an air unit. A one cost to remove four damage card against units. An air unit is really useful. Air units sit at the back and attack anywhere. The fighters can attack targets anywhere in the battlefield and prevent enemy bombers from attacking. Bombers are artillery but in the sky. But they don't take damage when they attack either. So they, they literally are just artillery but in the sky. So. That's the whole shtick. Honestly, might just use the... Yeah, I'm just going to use the allegiance. The allegiance, the alliance. I have no doubt that they've got some blitz card that can instantly kill that, but in the off chance they don't, might as well advance him. Ah, Amphibious Assault. That's really useful. Cards like Tora 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 deal with one damage to all units. I did have the way to do that. There's J Japan's got a decent amount of removal like Tora Tora Tora, and they deal one damage to every card in the field, which kind of cucks me. That kind of heavily cucks me. Now I need to draw ASAP. Because they... Ha I'm currently sitting on one card. They're sitting on four. Yeah, I've got a lot of board control. But they're all fairly squishy. Oh, look. Tora, Tora, Tora. Cuck me. If he's got another one, I'm screwed. If he's got another one, I'm just pretty sure I lose the game, to be honest. Or if he's got, like, Eagle Claw. Hey, what's his splash? Like, what... Is he just a pure Japan? I think it is. That's pretty nice. I'm just going to use We Can Do It to. Oh, actually, We Can Do It After, but you know. We will make mistakes. Especially in my fairs. Just going to advance him up. That was nice. So when he attacks, that. It won't do. Okay, never mind. It gained. Ah. Plus two attack on your turn if the enemy controls no units. That's a pretty good card. I guess I underestimated Japan. I want to do Japan splash Soviet. I think I've done that. No, I think I've done Soviet splash Japan. No, I'd, I think I've done US. I don't know. I've done something splash Japan. What is this card? Deploys for zero credits of friendly units. Destroyed. Oh, that's really nice. A so three four can be zero cost. I'm pretty sure it's negative three. Yeah, so it's just a three cost card originally. I ambush when attacked for the first time each turn. Unit. Deals its damage first and receives no damage when destroyed. Unless, uh, if the other unit is destroyed, sorry. Hold on a minute. Oh, yeah, but I was so confused. I was like, why did 5 and 2 does not equal. That like 5 and 2 does not equal 9, and then I realized I had to move it and then attack. Frontal assault with this amount of light infantry is extremely. Extremely useful to draw.
probably is going to use it now. Yeah, this does kill it, which is unfortunate. Hopefully I can draw on a decent card that can deal with this, because at the moment that is just going to be pressuring me for the rest of the game. That's a fury, that's really annoying. And there's, I, they got Splash German. Advance the army. Yeah, just going to deploy him. Deal my one damage. To draw a card. Oh, and draw him. That's a, ni that's a nice card to draw. 5-5 five, five tank. Especially a, a tank. Because it's that's 5 damage to their face. If they can't deal with him. Which they probably won't deal with him. So I'll spend 4 credits to put damage to his face. Destruction deal to... Yeah, a lot of them deal when they die, deal damage. So HQ, so that is probably going to attack that, and then attack that. Okay, but he doesn't. Is he just. If he attacks with the Fury, he dies, so it can't attack twice. Okay. No, I clear his entire. Like, unless he can deal with these, I clear his entire. Like, board next turn. Bop, bop, bop. He has to deal with the tank, fair enough. Very, that was useful. He cleared his own board to get value out of it, knowing that I was going to clear it anyway. It's fairly smart of him. I say it's fairly smart, it's very smart. I, you can have five units in the front line in case that was confusing. That confused me the first time as well. Oh, it attacks back. That I never knew artillery attack back. So bombers, when you attack them, they don't attack back. I should just attack face. See, the value of attacking face there is they're going to take the damage anyway when they attack you. So just attack face because they're going to take the damage anyway. But there, I guess I wanted to make sure they die no matter what they attack. Instruction deal two damage to a random enemy. That's really useful at the moment. Unfortunate that it might it hit the worst card. Or well, the best card for me, the worst card for him. Instruction to Arctic Convoy could not have asked for a better card. Draw two random units from your deck. Oh I'm in the game. This is why. You get, you get an entire back line. That you can then you like push forward, attack face, attack face, attack that. Next turn, I can sack one of these cards into it, so it's pretty sweet. And oh yeah, it's not a bomber, so whatever it attacks, it takes damage from. So it can only yeah, the units are in. Yeah, we hit the 18 minute mark. So thanks for watching and thanks for getting this far. This is probably like well, it is my favorite card game I've ever played. If you're interested in this game. Show you support and love for it. Get it, download it on Steam. There are fairly regular updates. They have a Discord server about updates, so I'm gonna assume it's quite regular. And thanks for watching. And thanks for getting this far. Hopefully, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Especially if you like cards, because if you like this game, me and you're the best friends now.